All right. Now we're understanding Long Beach is its own entity. It's its own city. Mm -hmm. Now, it's like you're, you're, you're narrowing it down. Like, now I'm just not from mm -hmm. North. I'm not, excuse me, I'm not just from Long Beach. Mm -hmm. I'm from North North. Mm -hmm. Can you break that to a person that's never been to California before? What is North North? I mean, yeah, it's like every, every city has their segments. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, every, and the segments have their own segments. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the way it is is Nobody had ever said they was from North Long Beach. I got a gang of homies that's from North Long Beach, right. but they from Eastside gangs because those was the bigger right. gangs, or you know what I mean? Okay, right, so when you, because right, a person that don't know, when you say they from, that's you saying that's the set they joined. Exactly, okay. exactly. All right. But it's like it's a gang. Like, it's, it's G. It's G. Niggas like older dudes that's from the North that's from Eastside gangs. Like that's right. reputable. You feel me? But right. at the point in time, it's just you know it's the crowd. Right. Like people right. do what make the most sense, and also with the racial. So we say this North Side don't have a lot of the big gangs. Well, we got the no, two biggest gangs in Long Beach on the way on the East. I mean, Twenties and Insane is the biggest hoods. That's where Trady from. Where Twenties and Insane Crips. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay, go ahead. So it's like. Most people just go be from there, and I got a lot of homies that is from there. I got homies that was from there, and then came back to the hood. Like, it's a lot of stuff happened like that. When you kids, you know, you're trying to find your way. Right. But it's funny, North North wasn't even gone. I thought it was too burnt out because. So, so let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to cut you off. Is that why Snoop and them ref East Side? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that why they East Side? But the crazy thing about Snoop is Snoop. I'm sorry, throwing them these gang signs. No, I know my shit is no, no, very <laughs> horrible. So you got to relax. Listen, I, I just said that he's rubbing off. We, we, we control that drink. I'm just saying, you're crib. I'm like, because I'm listening to his. I'm, I'm sorry. Christian, cribbing to y'all. Like, I'm just saying, this guy got me. I'm sorry. God. I was like, so yeah, that's why they said it the East Side. Okay. Like, now but also, I would hear certain songs. Or Snoop would say shit that's on the north. Okay. Like he said on the intro uh, of the RNG album, stayed on 51st, uh, 30 blocks from the east side. Like, nigga, that's down that's, the street. That's like, north. <laughs> why you just saying say you stayed on the north? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, okay. like, in the people, it is father talked to Snoop about this a million times, too. Like, <laughs> okay. he's like, he's like, and he said, he always tell me, like, he appreciated that song because, like, you know, he come from area where they was clashing, like, with everybody on the north side. What do you mean, say appreciate the songs about north, north? Yeah, okay. because, like, he said, it was a point in time when niggas was clashing with the north, like, north and east didn't get along. Uh -huh. And to this day, it's still kind of iffy. Right. But, um, yeah, man, just, I just feel like, and I didn't want to put it out because it was too burnt out. I feel like it was too real wow. based on what was going on at the time. You feel me? Like, wow. yeah. it was, if you, like, really listen to that song, yeah. I was doing some stupid shit. I should have said, should have said a lot of shit in that wow. song. It is what it is. But, yeah, wow. man, I, it, that's my only platinum plaque. So, wow. I ain't mad at it. Nah, I ain't mad at it. Make some noise for that, it. So, so, for people that didn't know, basically you're saying is there's, there's an east side of, of mm -hmm. Long Beach, but then there's a north side of Long Beach that's, yeah. that's, that gets overlooked a lot, lot of the times because people go and they join the east side yeah. gangs. And in the west, Long Beach got a west side too. There's some okay. real dudes from over there. Like, okay. But it's like the thing about Long Beach is I understand it because when you grow up with those, when those, with those racial ramifications, right. like, it's a lot of racial tension in Long Beach. Uh -huh. So it's like if you Besides black. Besides just black and Mexican? Oh, yeah. So Asians and Mexicans well, have like a Asians and Indians yeah, out there. Yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Our, the Asians and Mexicans have a really, really, really bad clash. Like, like it's, it's probably worse than it's because it's they live closer to each Wait, other. Wait, Asians and Mexicans? You yeah, said? they got a really bad thing. They, they worse than the blacks and the Mexicans? It's, it's, it's probably equal to be honest. Okay. If, if not, only reason I say worse because they're in closer proximity, mm -hmm. so more things can happen. It's still bad right now. Yeah, to this day. And when we say Asians, we're including Southeast Asians, Cambodians, Laotians, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, a, lot, a, lot, a, lot, a lot, it's like mostly Southeast Asians, Cambodians, Laotians, yeah. you know, shit like you, that. You know, that's what's crazy about Long Beach. Long Beach reminds me of Queens. They have so many different mm -hmm. races. Samoans too. Yeah, Samoans. Samoans. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Aren't Samoans historically blood? Nah, no, yeah. I don't know why. I think Booyah Tribe, I think, called them out. Well, I mean, they used to have red in their shit. No, there was blood. No, they, they were blood? Yeah, oh, yeah blood. I mean, yeah. in Carson. I just, that's how I think of Carson automatically City? Samoans. Yeah, in, Car in Carson, all the Samoans is blood for the most part, but in Compton and Long Beach, all the Samoans is Crips. Yeah? yeah. Really? All the Samoans in Long Beach is from SOS or Park Village in Compton. That's basically, and uh, yeah. Now, it just depends on where you at, you feel right. me? Like, like the thing about the current blood shit, it's just, it's already it's already established. Like if you live over here, this would ain't niggas don't get the pick really. You know right. what I mean? When you a kid, if you really aware of your surroundings, you kind of already know what side of the fence you you know you fall on where you live at. Right. Your family, was, was shit it, like that. Was it ever crazy like to see somebody come to your neighborhood with all red on, or some of the homies Hell had nah. on all red? I had homies with red hair in Long Beach. It ain't <laughs> no it's niggas crip gangs that that wear red is like a, right. a, a secondary type thing. When I was growing up, now niggas was the older people wasn't feeling it, right. but we was young. We, we was doing whatever we wanted. Like you can't. It's Long Beach. Like everybody's a crip, so ain't nobody wearing blue. That's like that's not enough. That's not. Yeah. That's already, not differentiating enough. Given, you know right? what I'm saying? Right. Like, so I was kind of past the color thing. Like, that's more of an LA thing. Okay. Like, cause every city got its own politics. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. what happened in LA, what happened in Compton, and what happened in Long Beach is all different. 
what happened in Carson is different. Gardena, everybody got different politics. So now, um, you, every time I see you with a hat, it's only one hat. <laughs> it's a goddamn Yankee hat. All right? And we and learned then, about uh, that recently. And then so I wore my two Yankee chains. I got three out of it. I couldn't find my other one. But, um, and when I did the research, they said that you're a fan of Derek Jeter. Oh, yeah, I love baseball, man. You're a fan of Yogi Berra and Daryl Strawberry? Yeah, look, man, you got to know what to tell the police when they pull you over and start <laughs> checking your clothes. The police used to ask us to name players on the team. Oh, oh okay, let me, all right, okay, okay. Again, this is an East Coast super green, that's what they say. But we were talking about this recently on Dream Champs. About how, Specifically how New York sir, hat. Is, now, is that a gang hat? I mean, oh. everybody picked their own hat. It's a gang of hoods that wear that hat. Okay. Like, we wear that hat. Nutty Block wear that hat. Asian boys, exotic family wear that hat. Uh, schoolyard wear that hat. The neighborhoods wear that hat. Neighborhoods of yeah. 60 and them. NHP oh. wear that hat sometimes. A lot of people wear it. It's, right. it ain't, it's only so many hats, so niggas right. kind of got to share hats. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. It just depends on what neighborhood you're in. Oh, so, if a, so you said you had to know the, the police to tell you. So if a police pull you over and they say, why you have that hat on? And you name somebody from the actual sports team, they're, they're lenient on you? Well, I mean, when we was kids, so we ain't even driving yet. So they just right. like, oh, what's that mean? You know, when you outside, right. the public, when you a kid, the public do whatever the fuck they want to you. But they they they, that, they identify that this hat, you ain't yeah. from no New York. Bro, the police know everything. Right, right. Yeah, Niggas yeah. be telling on themselves all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's five snitches that nobody know about at all times. <laughs> right. It's five secret snitch secretaries <laughs> right. that's telling the police everything that's going on. Right. I grew up with MySpace. Right. Niggas been telling on themselves my yeah, whole very life. True. So the police know everything that's going on. They not, they not stupid. Let's go. Let's go back to the subject. Let me just ask you one. Remind me to go back to the subject. Yogi Berra mm -hmm. and um, the New York hat. But let me just ask you. Right now, they say they got pool shiesty, right? Mm -hmm. And they said that. And th th I'm just being honest. I just want everyone to be honest. The person that they allegedly said that he shot took back his story, re recanted his story, or whatever that word is, right? So then they said to, about Pooh Shiesty that they linked the money that he actually threw in the air to the money that was found where the people got shot. There's no way they could do that, bro. They can do whatever they want. What I mean is they're making that shit the fuck up. Of course. Because they know we ain't going to challenge that shit. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, listen, and I don't want to problems with the feds. But listen, one thing I noticed that when the feds came and got me for, for whatever, they actually didn't know shit. They were sitting there and they were they were they were fishing with me. And when I wasn't saying nothing, they got me the fuck up out of there and they got someone else in there. So what I'm trying to say is most of the time, they don't know shit. But what it is is they'll present something that seems like 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 let me just what they're saying is they found a dollar out of a thousand dollars that he threw. They found one dollar. No, of course, but what I'm talking what I'm talking about is different, because I'm talking about okay. you staying in. Inside an apartment building mm -hmm. that got graffiti on the wall, uh -huh. wearing a specific hat, yes. and we know your Instagram. Exactly. It's that now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. So so yeah. when I when I was younger, right. like when I was younger, it was the police kind of knew who was who. They knew certain people. So uh -huh. if I know him and I know him and you with him, now uh -huh. you like him. You get uh -huh. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So you can kinda I was able to wiggle out of search. If they that happened now, it's over, but I ain't even gonna lie to him. Right. But you kinda can wiggle yourself out of search. We have gang file, we got certain shit like that. I'll take off your shirt, let's take pictures of your tattoos. Like they were doing that to niggas when they was minors. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh give me your hat here, take a picture. And we so I see that, that in movies. It. I see that yeah, in movies. Gang units. You didn't have those in they have them in Miami. Oh, yeah, I, I'm from fucking New York. Yeah, we, I'm saying yeah. you didn't have those in New York? Zulu Nation and 5%. They, nah, man, y'all have that in New York. For sure you have it in New York. Yeah, righteous gangs, bro. In a sense, and, that's and so, what the hip-hop police was, gang unit. And, yeah. that, and that's one thing that people got to realize. Like, you know, no matter what you're doing, I think it's important. Like, speaking on the push, I just think it's important to say with him, right. a young boy, and this shit that keep happening. Yeah. You got to understand, as an artist, and you especially being young, you have right. so much more of your life ahead of you, even if this right. rap show only lasts for four years, five years. Right. You have, you know, real, real possibilities of economic economic growth and like right. stabilization and shit within your community, your friend right. group and your family. And you gotta be mindful of that. Because right. every single thing that you do, bro, I got arrested once. And they, the dude, I was in a car, and they left me in the car, it was hot as hell too. Mm -hmm. They left me in the car and started playing my music videos on the cell phone, on the shit. But act, still acting like they didn't know who I was. Who the Play, police? Yeah, playing, playing my music videos on the shit, blah, blah, blah. He posted my bail. And they didn't take my, they said my DNA wasn't assist. They was basically saying I wasn't in jail. And the crazy thing about it is like. They wanted to hang like, with you? Huh? They wanted to hang with you? And you, but, and, but, but it's like, but it was you to the point. Yeah, but yeah, it's like, but I wasn't big, but right. it's like, 
I, w- I got arrested at home, so it right. was different. But my, the, w- it, it really made me, it, it fucked me up when I was like, so, you know, you try to wiggle and try to get to, you know, try to, I'm trying to figure out a way to get an OR, so I'm trying to play cool with niggas and, like, trying to figure certain shit out. So I'm like, hey, excuse me, I'm, I'm, talking, I'm trying to use the phone, blah, blah, because I still this day, I, I, at this moment, I mean, I didn't know if they knew where I was at. Uh. So I'm just calling, blah, blah. And then he said, oh, I know who you are. Whoop de whoop de whoop de. I'm like, yeah, I'm supposed to be getting bailed out. Yeah. And I was just talking to him. He's like, all right, so you know, you went in the back and then they put you on your shit. You, you go, yeah. you go to the two mans, whatever. So he pulled me back out. He said, yeah, you're not in the system at all. Blah blah blah. And I had a festival that weekend, one of my first festivals. Wow. So I thought about it. Like, damn, it's not a coincidence that that happened. And you asked me who killed these niggas way over here. My address ain't long. Mm. You asked me what happened to a nigga in L.A. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And then when I go to the fucking thing, y'all saying that y'all don't have my DNA in the system when you just did it, and I've been bailed out. Fucking right. twenty hours ago, right. Right. and I don't know it. After that, I was like, "You got, I got to be more mindful." Like, I, don't, I had a judge to the DA. Well, we can't charge him with this, and we can't do this, and we can't do that. And the DA is fighting for like little shit, and right. it's like you got to understand. I don't know what it is, but when you kind of have certain level of success, right, things is gonna change for you, and people's gonna come for you. So you know, we just gotta do a better job of letting everybody know they're important. So if you know you're important, and you're important to your community, important to your people, and you can really change everything. On a small level, you know, if you're a rapper and right. you get a hundred thousand dollars, then that's not a lot based on what rappers say, right. but that's a lot in the real world. In you the can real change world. a lot for your people, so you know, you got to be smart.